but I thought about it. Oh, y'all go away and leave me alone. Everybody's trying to get me to quit drinking. My wife says the only reason she didn't get me a birthday present is because she don't know how to gift wrap a saloon. And my doctor says if I don't quit drinking, it's going to kill me. But I know a whole lot more old drunks than I do old doctors. Even the Red Cross has been bugging me. They turned down my blood donation because they said they found an olive in it. Well, if they didn't put olives in them drinks, I'd starve to death. My wife says I'm spoiling my health drinking to everybody else's, but I'm not. I'm slipping vitamins in my gin so I can build myself up while I'm tearing myself down. And my mother-in-law, who is the head of the NGC, that's the Nag and Gripe Committee, she says I'm a hard drinker, but I'm not. Shoot, drinking's the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. The only time I ever had a hard time drinking was last year on an ocean voyage. The sea got so rough one night they had to lash me to the bar. Here come the elephants two by two, big little pachyderms following you. It's about time you started thinking about giving up all your drinking. Well, I may have to give it up if I can't get a better job. Do you realize the cost of living is up 27 cents a fifth? Well, I ought to be able to do better in employment because I graduated from college, magna cum laude. Speaking of being loaded, I've been here in this same bar drinking all day long. Hey, bartender. Yep. What time is it? It's one minute after 12 midnight. After midnight, eh? Well, bottoms up. First one today. Here come the elephants, two by two. 